up with it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tame today. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, man. Become a frequent flyer, join the winning team, man. We out here grinding. Current goal set, we're trying to hit that 2K on them subs, man, by December 31st. So if everybody sub up, like the video, share the videos, tell a friend. I am the hardest working man in shoot tame man. We out here doing it. As you can see, man, today was Obsidian One Day. And uh, your boy was able to come up on some pairs, man. I got a size 14, two sevens, and a nine and a half coming in from good old Nike. But everybody knows, man, that I'm a diehard UNC fan, so this shoe was absolutely a no-brainer for me. Um, I had to cop. Let me know how you guys did today, man. Did you get any? Did you get none? Did you strike out? I took, like, seven L's all together to come out with four shoes, so that lets you know how that went. But at any rate, we're gonna go ahead and get you fast and then. I guess I could do a men's to grade school compare. Hey, you know what? Since we're here, hopefully. Let's get, get, get it. Uh huh. Y'all see how tiny that shit is? It's so small. <laughs> oh, man. Boom. Two times, man. Go ahead, fasten your lap belts. Ah, oh, my bad. Go ahead, fasten your lap belts, and let's take flight. Got you locked and loaded on this close-up action. I know some of y'all are like, man, where do your UNC ones come from? These ain't the obsidians. <laughs> These are what I had on foot today. The, uh, 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 there's been a satin shattered sighting, ladies and gentlemen. These were on foot today as well, but not my foot. Get them chest out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what was the, what was the, yeah, OG UNCs, man. That's what we had on feet today. Uh, ran into the homie True Kicks, man, while I was out at the mall in North Lake, man. Shout out to True. Wonder if he decided to keep them, uh, if he decided to keep his pair or not. I'm willing to bet you he kept them things. Like, he gonna be like, nah, bro, I can't let these go. But at any rate, um, we're gonna give you a little comparison action on this, um, men's versus GS here. Um, just to show you some things or whatnot for you people considering purchasing or missed out today or didn't grab or whatever. So I guess we'll start out with the boxes here. Um, be sure, let me know if you cop today, if you didn't cop, were you feeling the shoe, were you not feeling it, what's your favorite Jordan 1, any of that, man. Just hop in the comments and we can uh, talk about it. Now, a lot of y'all looking at this label. I like what in the world is going on here. That's not your normal Jordan 1 label. And it ain't. 
they put the QR codes on these Jordan 1 labels now. So now it's just a strip. It's not your traditional little black square um, box size label. And I literally just noticed that. You got your QR code there, stripped across. Um, the pairs that I'm reviewing came from Foot Locker, in case anybody was wondering. Other than that, it's a standard Jordan 1 box. Also, inside the lid, you have your blue stamp, quality control stamp. Standard white paper. We going all in today, y'all. So if y'all don't want to see the box stuff, just go ahead, fast forward <laughs> to the next thing. Shoe trees. Shoe trees. You also got your little sticker, like all the GS pairs come with. Uh, you've got that green sticker in there. Why, I don't know. I thought that only came with suede shoes, but apparently I was wrong. You also have another little gold sticker in there. So on these GS pairs, man, they went all out with the quality control checking. I bet not find any kind of flaw on this shoe since it's done been through 15 checks already. So that's your GS box. Now, coming into your men's box, you have the same uh, strip logo, I mean not logo, box label, as you can see, with the QR code, that grown man size 14, you already know, PP, Tar Heel Nation, never in doubt, die hard UNC fan, for those of you who didn't know, now you know, because I told you. But on the men's pair, you don't have a blue stamp, you have um, the red joint. You got the red quality control stamp in there. Um, and honestly, you don't have, you got the white paper, of course, but you don't have anything else sticker or stamp wise in here. It's just that one red stamp. That's all it is. And they both came from the exact same store. So how about that? Men's shoe tree. The other men's shoe tree. These come stock. Navy blue laces, both pairs. Took them out. <laughs> Took them out real quick. As you can see from that extremely crispy clean on foot. So, bam! We got men's pair with the white less lace. Bam! We got GS pair with the baby blue Carolina lace. And pretty much to keep it 100% with all of you guys. It's no difference in the men's pair and the GS pair. They're both the same shoe. They both leather. They both come with extra laces. The um, GS pair came with the baby blue laces, as did the men's. The men's did not come with the white lace. I put this lace in it, so I just thought it looked better than the navy blue, to me, in my opinion, and I feel like it's busting like that. Let me know in the comments. You think the baby blue or the... Uh, Navy lace, look better. Navy lace, and yeah, hey, <laughs> do that. But getting into the shoe, man, I feel bad, yo. If if you if you didn't cop these, bro. Now, I mean, if you didn't have an opportunity, I get it. But if you had an opportunity to get these and you didn't, bro, you are tripping. Not tripping, tripping. P a n g at the end. But at any rate, it's your traditional Jordan 1. You have your obsidian on the toe cap running up the laces, capping it off with your UNC blue in the back. You have your navy blue Nike checks. Like I said, I put the flat white laces in them because I felt like it would um, look better. Your midsole is white. I'm so glad they didn't do that, that, that sale foolishness on it. You've got a navy blue sole as you can see but the kicker for this shoe is the quality you know it looks like every other jordan one that you ever seen in your life with just another um just another colorway you know just another color scheme but these joints the quality on these are insane let me see if i can get you a close-up on this here's just some spider web action on that man do y'all see that do y'all see this foolishness this spider web, this butter on this toe cap right here. I'm coming around to this side panel. Soft, man, plush. Um, reminiscent of those, uh, of the sales or maybe the Gatorades 
that um that that good good quality even the smooth portions man it's it's soft and i'm not just hyping it because i'm a unc fan you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not you know i tell you what it is on these shoes ask anybody that's watching my reviews um you've got your mesh tongue with your standard navy blue and baby blue um tongue tag on there your insole is navy blue with the carolina blue head on the nike logo as you can see uh, I can't really get a good shot of that size tag, but it's got the QR code on it and all that good stuff. But this is an extremely well-constructed pair of shoes. There are no glue stains, no stitching errors, no none of that. This shoe is soft, it's plush, it's worth the 160. Um, your sock liner, standard, I thought they were gonna do like a satin or something in there, but I guess that'd be asking too much. But standard on your sock liner, it's good. Solid shoe, men's pair. Now, well, I guess I'll leave it here. Getting in to these GS pairs. For all the people who have baby feet and buy GS pairs, you know the quality don't always come correct on these GSs. However, if you were stuck in a bind and couldn't decide between a men's seven and a GS seven, in my opinion, you will be perfectly fine getting a GS7. This shoe also looks really good, extremely well constructed, no flaws anywhere on the shoe. Fancy smancy lace job, <laughs> you know, but uh, toe box crease test on this joint. All right, boom. Like they really Put some love on these joints, man. Even the, the GS pairs got love, so you know good and well. The men's pairs got love, man. Decent leather. The leather here on your toe cap is a little stiffer. I ain't gonna front, but it's still good. It's not trash, you know. Don't don't get me wrong. Here on the side paneling, that side paneling, boy, that thing soft, 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 soft on that. Like they really did a great job on these shoes. GS pairs and men's pairs. Can't go wrong with either one. It's up to you. You know, whatever you want to spend your money on, what not, there you go, there you have it. As far as fit, with ones always go true to size. No matter what, never differentiate from it. Get your size. Um, it's not the most comfortable shoe from the Jordan line, but it's not a uncomfortable shoe by any means. I know a lot of people say that they can't wear ones. Me personally, I got plank feet, so this flat shoe, works out great for me i mean it's just flat shoe it doesn't have high arches you've got a decent little bit of cushioning in it um you can wear it all day and not die as opposed to some other jordans that i have that you put on for a couple hours and your pinky toe screaming shout out to pinky toe paint um but yeah that's pretty much it man you've seen the shoe you've seen the quality you've seen the own foot you've heard my true real natural unbiased opinion both pairs are worth having if you in the gs game get your gs if you in the big footer regular footer game get your regular footers if you did not cop these or slept on them you are trip pang it's that third time i said trip pang trip pang but it is what it is man another one in the books i hope this video helps you guys in some way shape or form um hop in the comments leave me a comment like don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holler at you.